Hey guys, if you're having problems partitioning your external hard drive or USB drive, anything like that, well, here's the fix. So I'm gonna go right into disk utility. In disk utility, you might see this external and then your first one, right? So just up top of here, I wanna show you something. On the top left hand side, you will see this, show all devices. So this is better view to get a glance at what's happening here. And what I want you guys to do is just pick your very first option because here's where we have to do the fix. So in this case, what we have to do is just go to erase and this time, make sure this is not a master boot record. So most of you have it right there and that's why you can't partition. However, choose this, you will be able to partition and we can format it for Mac and PC, such as XFAT, or we can format it just to work on Mac, which is journaled. Depends what you guys want. Most of you will want it to work with Mac and PC. So we're gonna go ahead, format it like so, and we're gonna erase. So that's our first option, okay? We have to do that in order to be able to partition this. So as long as we do that, right now we can go ahead and go into partition. From here we can partition as journaled, for example. So if you want part of it to be just for Mac, we can just click on that plus sign. So right now if we click on this side, we can see that it is journaled. In this side, we can make it, for example, not MS-DOS fat, that's the worst one you guys can pick, XFAT. So this side's for PC and this side is for Mac. Of course, we can rename these so we can know what's going on. So this one we can name PC and this one right here we can name Mac, if that's what you guys are looking for. Now let's say you want to make more partitions, just click on the plus sign, which is down here below. Now you always suggest doing that. And yes, you guys can make this custom. So maybe you don't want this to be that big. You want this partition to be really small because all you're gonna have to do in this partition, once we click on it, is maybe format it again for PC2. Let's just name it like that. And again, we're gonna choose this to work for PC and Mac, which is XFAT. By the way, some of you that are formatting this for your TV, XFAT will not work. Um, however, this will work for a TV. However, that has a lot of limits and that's why I never suggest formatting as this, just because there's a limit of how big your file size can be in order to import into something like this. Anyways, I do have a whole separate video just focused on how to make this work with your TV. This is not it. So for now, we're just gonna put another XFAT. And now let's say we change our minds. We want this journaled part to be also XFAT. We can go ahead and do that, XFAT. So right now I have XFAT everywhere. So that means everything is compatible on my PC. Now let's say you guys made a mistake and you want to take out any of these guys. So what we're gonna do is click right here, for example. And this one's XFAT, that's fine. And we're gonna click on the minus sign. So minus, and there we go. So at this point, I'm just left with two of them. And yes, I can format both of these to be also for XFAT or just leave it as journaled right here. So again, I can just choose that and go ahead and apply everything. So I did play around with this a lot. Um, it's usually not good to play around with it that much, but I wanted to show you guys all the options possible right here. If you encounter any errors when you're formatting your external hard drive or USB drive, such as this one, don't worry about it. All you have to do is format it again. So let's just click on done. Sometimes that happens when we play around with them too much. Anyways, what we're gonna do is just erase again. And that, again, we have to make sure that we have our very first option selected. So what we're gonna do is just format it as journaled, which is just for Mac. However, we could just format as XFAT, which is for both Mac and PC. Again, we're making sure that we have this option selected. And from here, we're gonna click on erase. This will erase everything, by the way. And uh, it's good to do that. So if you're partitioning or anything like that, just erase it all over again. And that uh, erase does delete everything. Just wanna mention that again. And this time everything should be okay. So if, uh, by the way, you guys already forgot, up here, you do have these options. So show only volumes. So this one right here, you wouldn't be able to just partition if you didn't format it correctly. So just going to show all devices and choose the very first one. And from here, we can do the partition. So again, you would just go into erase, 
you would go right here. This is fine. Yep. Um, just make sure you go into partition if that's what you want to do. And we're going to select our first one to be journaled. That's only for Mac. We're going to add a plus plus plus. We're going to make this side, for example, we're going to make this XFAT, which is compatible with Mac and PC. We're going to click apply partition and we should be fine. From there, just let it run. If you're still having problems, you're getting errors or anything like that, we don't actually have to do the partitioning from this very first option. We can partition from the second option as long as we did our first option as partitioning and not master boot record. From here, everything should have gone well, so we can just click on done and that's it. Anyways, that would be it for this video. If you guys have any questions, comments, you guys can write down here in the comments area. Don't forget to subscribe and rate. Thank you.